Bobby Moe Show presented by Dollar Energy Fund and First Commonwealth Bank. Dollar Energy Fund helping our neighbors in need maintain basic utility service since 1983. Visit dollarenergy.org or text DEF to 53555. And First Commonwealth Bank is here to help you build financial confidence through everyday moments of life by supporting businesses to helping families find a house they love to call home and saving for whatever tomorrow brings. Visit a First Commonwealth office or visit fcbanking.com member FDIC. Hi and welcome to this edition of the Bobby Mo Show, your favorite colonial podcast, the official podcast of the Robert Morris University Colonial Athletic Teams. Today we're talking track and field. We have a couple of guests and our first one is Tara Golagram, uh, who is a native of Industry, Pennsylvania in Beaver County and graduated from Hopewell High School. And Tara, you've been here at Robert Morris almost as long as I have now. <laughs> yep, it's been five years. It has, and you're a graduate student here yes, now. And obviously uh, one of the standouts on the track and field team, a record holder as well. So congratulations on all of that. You. But uh, let's talk about your five year experience here at Robert Morris and what it has meant to you as you're, you're closing out your, your track and field career here. Um, it definitely means a lot. Uh, coming into college, I was unsure if I wanted to do track and field or gymnastics or acro and tumbling, but I'm really glad I chose track and field. Definitely been a lot easier on my body than the other two. But um, I don't know, it just means a lot to me because I was able to one, get an education and two, to be able to do something I love. I've kind of fallen farther in love with the sport over the last five years and I plan to pursue a career in it. So All right. in coaching, that but. That's, that's fantastic. So, well, let's, you know, before we talk more about athletics and, and, and your love of track and field, let's talk about academics because you are a graduate student here now. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about your, uh, your pursuit athletically because you are a student <laughs> athlete. Yeah, um, I'm a, doing my master's degree in organizational leadership. Um, I did my bachelor's in that as well, but I had minors in biology and sport management. Uh, the biology was because I thought I wanted to go to med school, but didn't turn out that way. <laughs> And then sport management was just to give me the background of event planning and everything like that to help me get that extra little step in my career. Okay, earlier you said you're thinking about coaching mm -hmm. someday soon. Yeah. What level are you talking about? Uh, preferably Division One. Um, coming from a Division One athlete, I think I know this range of sport the best. Um, I'm currently working at a high school and volunteering with my high school uh, to help with their jumps and sprints. Um, and then I've been working with a track club over the summer and the fall just to kind of get my feet wet in every area. I've been learning distance, I've been learning the throws, getting a little bit of everything. You had some choices to make, uh, as you said earlier, uh, as far as what you wanted to do, as far as uh, which competitions and which events you wanted to be a part of. Mm -hmm. how, did you, how did you come uh, to pick the events you're in? Um, it came from gymnastics. I always had the short, explosive type of power. I never had still don't have any endurance to do distance running. Um, it was either pole vault or jumping. I couldn't get pole vault, it frustrated the heck out of me. So I ultimately chose jumping and ever since I just been excelling in it, I guess. Yep, you, you have and you've developed nicely under uh, Brian Delsite, uh, who's an extraordinary jumps coach. At the 2023 Horizon League Indoor Championships, you set two Robert Morris University records and the 60 meter dash and in the long jump. Let's talk, talk about those events and what that meant, uh, setting those school records. Um, in all honesty, I really surprised myself with the 60 record. I thought Maddie was gonna take it again. Um, <laughs> Maddie's gonna be our next guest, by the way. I thought Maddie was gonna take it again, but I saw the time when it was uploaded and I my jaw dropped. I did not think I ran that fast, um, but it, it ultimately just kind of gave me that boost I needed going into the long jump, which was my next event. Um, in long jump, there was a girl from IUPUI that was, she was seated higher than me and I had her on the first three or four jumps and I was like, all right, you know, this is, I just need to, just need to throw it out there and see what happens. Um, so I, I jumped another school record. I was not expecting it, kind of came out of nowhere, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, just to review the numbers, uh, you posted a time of 7.69 seconds in the prelims of the 60 meter dash at the Horizon League Championships and a leap of 5.98 meters in the long jump. So those mm -hmm. are those are pretty dramatic numbers. Yeah. 
no doubt about it. And you also own Robert Morris's outdoor school record in the long jump, is, is, is that Correct. true? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about that too. Um, it happened at the first meet of the 2022 outdoor season. Um, I was just out there doing my thing. I was having the best time. That was like one of the most fun meets that I've been at. Just everybody was so positive. The vibe was up. Like everybody was just encouraging me and it, it, that one also surprised me, but I mean, yeah, it was a really great feeling just to know that everybody was there supporting me. And I think that's why I was able to do it at that meet. All right. It's kind of cool too. You have a sister on the team. Yeah. So uh, how did your sister did she want to follow in your footsteps or did you encourage her to come? Um, so we both started track because it, it filled the gap between school and gymnastics practice. So she came out to track practice with me and they wanted her to run long distance. And so she did it one day. She said, I hate this. I'm never coming back to practice. <laughs> I said, well, what if you try long jump like I do? And so she tried long jump. She was very good at it. She set our um, high school indoor school record. Um, and then after that, it was knee injury after knee injury. Mm. So she slowly began starting javelin, which is her favorite event. But she also started discus. And just this year, she started hammer throw. So she's mostly a thrower now, but she's still comes around and long jumps every once in a while. Pretty cool to have your sister on the team. Though. Definitely. All right, Tara, thank you so much uh, for joining us again this season on the Bobby Mo Show. Want to wish you the best of luck thank the rest you. of the way. I know uh, you've still got some running to do here, right? Oh, and jumping. definitely, yeah. Yep, for sure. All right, uh, Maddie Raymond is coming up next. Uh, you mentioned Maddie in, uh, in your conversation here on the Bobby Mo Show. We're going to find out more about her and her career here at Robert Morris as the Bobby Mo Show continues on track and field week here at Robert Morris and a beautiful week for it. The sunshine is out there. The temperatures are up and uh, we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish are coming to Moon Township to take on the Robert Morris University women's lacrosse team in a non-conference match Sunday at one o'clock. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster or get them at the Joe Walton Stadium ticket office on Sunday. For complete RMU lacrosse schedule and ticket information, check out rmucolonials.com. The 2023 Atlantic Sun Men's Lacrosse Championship is May 2nd through the 7th at RMU's Joe Walton Stadium. Six teams will compete for the A-Sun's automatic berth to the NCAA Men's Lacrosse Tournament. Tickets are on sale now at rmucolonials.com. Robert Morris Hockey is back at Clearview Arena. Don't miss any of the nonstop action as we welcome the RMU men's and women's hockey teams back to the Berg beginning October 7th. Don't get shut out. Reserve your season tickets now by calling the RMU ticket hotline at 412-397-4949. Many families in our community are struggling to make ends meet and can't afford their monthly utility bills. They are at risk of a gas, water, or electric service shutoff, which could make it impossible to do even the most basic of household tasks. You can make a difference by making a donation to Dollar Energy Fund. Your contribution will be matched dollar for dollar by Dollar Energy Fund's utility partners, and 100% of all donations will be used to help local families maintain or restore utility services. Help your neighbors in need and donate today at dollarenergy.org. At First Commonwealth Bank, we're excited to be your community bank, here to help you build greater financial competence through the everyday moments of life. By supporting local businesses that strengthen communities to helping families find a house they love to call home and saving for whatever tomorrow brings. Visit any of our community offices to start your journey to better or visit fcbanking.com. First Commonwealth Bank, member FDIC. Robert Morris University Athletics is proud to partner with Dollar Energy Fund and First Commonwealth Bank for the Points for Power program this season. Now, for every point scored by the RMU men's and women's basketball teams this year, First Commonwealth Bank donated a dollar to Dollar Energy Fund, and then the donation was matched dollar for dollar by Dollar Energy Fund's utility partners in order to help local families keep their homes warm this past winter. This season, $8,040 was raised to help our neighbors in need. The Red Hot RMU softball team takes on conference rival Purdue Fort Wayne in a three-game series this weekend. First pitch on Friday is set for 3 o'clock. Saturday's first pitch of the doubleheader is set for 1. Admission and parking are free for all RMU softball games at the North Athletic Complex. 
For a complete RMU softball schedule, visit rmucolonials.com. College basketball season may have just ended, but it's not too early to join the RMU Colonial men's and women's basketball teams for the 2023-2024 season here at the UPMC Event Center in Moon Township. Season tickets are on sale now at rmucolonials.com. Support Dollar Energy Fund today and help your neighbors in need stay warm this winter. Each year, more than 13,000 households in Pennsylvania receive a grant from Dollar Energy Fund enabling them to maintain or restore basic gas, water, wastewater, or electric utility service. Find out how a small contribution can score big with those in need. Visit dollarenergyfund.org or text DEF to 53555. All right, let's continue the Bobby Mo Show, the track and field edition, as uh, we sit here inside the UPMC Event Center. And Maddie Raymond is our second guest on this week's podcast. And Maddie is from South Park, Pennsylvania, and uh, uh, in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Went yeah. to South Park High School, graduate there. And uh, Maddie, you know, it's, it, we should have done the show outside today because <laughs> the temperatures are up. We're about 70 degrees outside. This is what outdoor track and field season is supposed to be all about. And I, I wanna start with that because I know that training for the outdoor season had to be absolutely ridiculous because you never knew what yeah. kind of temperature or weather you were gonna have. It's a lot different because indoor, you know, like you're gonna be inside so you don't have to prepare for the weather. But like our first meet, we were supposed to go down to WVU, but like it was supposed to rain all day and supposed to be windy. So we didn't end up going there, but like the weather has been getting really nice. So like this whole week, it's been nice. In our like midweek um, meet, it was such nice weather. It was sunny out. It was supposed to rain, but it didn't end up raining. So we've been getting lucky. So I'm excited for this weekend too. Cause it's supposed to be nice. How tough is it for you to train in, in cold weather conditions? How difficult is it? It's hard because like sprinting, your body needs to be like really warm. And right. if it's not, you're going to end up hurting yourself. So like you just have to keep like layering and the layers don't like help you go as fast as you need to. So it's a little frustrating there, but definitely prefer, prefer warm weather over the cold. Can it actually get too hot for you though? Yeah, it does get really hot. And if you sit out on that sun, it will drain you. I like you, you have to find shade. You just have to keep hydrating. Um, yesterday at practice, it was just super hot yesterday, and we're not used to it, so we have to kind of get accumulated to that to get, like, ready. But I'm excited for the warm weather to keep coming. Absolutely. Talk, talk about the rest of the schedule and what, what your uh, team is facing for the rest of the year. So we have Bucknell next weekend, and then we actually, this weekend, and then our home meet is Friday, Saturday next weekend, and then St. Francis, and then conference is coming up. So mm -hmm. the season's, like, it feels like it's really short, but it's coming up really fast, it's coming to a close. Sure, okay. Maddie Raymond is our guest here in the second segment of the Bobby Mo Show. Uh, I was kidding around with Tara earlier. <laughs> uh, you actually posted a time of 7.76 seconds in the 60 meter dash at the Spire Indoor Games on February 11th. And you held the indoor school record for what, two weeks? Yeah. Until she broke it, right? Yeah. It's really nice though having like competition. Our other teammate Gracie is also like really good at the 60. So I think like all of us being like really competitive with each other helps just push us and drives us to like the next level. Cause even like their hundred times are like all super close. Like we're all super knit together. So it's really good. But you own an, an outdoor school record too, correct? You, own, you own the outdoor, uh, Robert Morris outdoor school record in the 100 meter dash? That's a little shaky just because that one was handheld. So I don't take it. I don't claim it. But yeah, I, it's, it's dodgy. Okay. <laughs> well, put it that way. The, let me tell you this. The school recognizes it as the school <laughs> record at 11.68 seconds in the 100 meter dash. So uh, whether you think it's a little <laughs> dodgy or not, using your word, uh, this, this is the way it stands here at Robert Morris. Good to know. <laughs> okay. And uh, obviously you set the outdoor school record in the 100 meter dash at the RMU Midweek PR Bonanza at the P3R track and field complex on Neville Island. What's it like having that complex uh, and it's been rebuilt, redesigned uh, on the island at your disposal and your team's yeah. disposal? It's really nice, especially because they like redid the track before we started our like outdoor season last year. So having a new track it feels really fast and stuff. So I feel like all of us are just like really happy to have like that piece because I just think like having a new track is really important and like a good one. Cause before it was like kind of like tearing up a little bit. So it's really nice. 
Now, I know you're on the relay team here, along with Tara, who we talked to earlier. I want to talk about uh, that in just a little bit, but uh, truly, uh, when you get right down to it, track and field is probably one of the more individualized sports uh, that you'll find on campus. I mean, uh, other than golf, perhaps, yeah. uh, there, there's a lot that goes into mental preparation and it's 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 in your yeah. head it's in your body that you have to prepare uh for track and field events yeah i i normally like tend to get a little anxious before my like races so i try to just like stay as calm as possible and just be like go out there do what you know how to do you know whatever happens happens at least you tried your best that's the mentality you have to have or like it's not going to go your way uh, you'll have bad races you'll have good races but at the end of the day you just have to keep going forward Okay, and that also goes into play uh, as far as the relay teams are concerned as yeah. well, with the exception of the handoffs and yeah. the timing. Yeah, I think for that, like relays are like really important that you kind of like knit together and you get like the practice down. I know last year we had like our one handoff didn't go so well, so like that kind of shook us up. But after we got back together, regrouped, and we were okay. And then we ended up breaking two school records last year, and then we broke another one. Um, Justin at Colonial Relays in Virginia. Sure, congratulations on that, no doubt about it. You're also a student athlete here. What are you studying? What are you preparing um, for? I was in accounting, but I just switched to finance this semester. Okay. So we'll see where that takes me. Okay, all right. We'll see where that takes you and we'll yeah. see where track and field takes you the rest of the way as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right, that's Maddie Raymond. Want to thank Maddie and Tara for joining us here on the Bobby Mo Show. I'm Chris Shovlin. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll talk to you next week.